It's time for another episode of Cast Ranger, but everyone else is gone, so Jerry's back. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I, I had no idea by, what to open with. So by I just... popular demand, I have returned. What qualifies as popular although, demand? Only, <laughs> although, to be fair, it's only been a couple weeks. Yeah. But still, popular demand. <laughs> Someone demanded it. We don't know who, but somebody. That person may not, not be me. That person may not even exist. <laughs> um, with that being said, wait, no one's here. Do it. Cue the roll call. He did it. I did the thing. We are live. Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster! Super Ichi! Armed with bad puns and positive reinforcements. Batu! Nightcaster, Sir Gary the Lost! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! On air! Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode 361! Episode Snow Runt. It's episode Cold Boy. A very cold boy. Just like me, being cold and alone in my unit. <laughs> well, luckily you have a knight coming across the internet to assist you. Cool. <laughs> All right, so for those who might be tuning in for the first time, we are usually a group that's bigger than this of tokusatsu fans who get together every week to talk about Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and a third thing. But this week, the third thing is Kamen Rider. <laughs> it is also the first thing. It, it's like a tasty sandwich. You get your two slices of Kamen Rider bread and your uh, sandwich me of Sentai. <laughs> you, the, it's, it's the, that's what I get for... That, that's why you're eating dinner making that analogy. It's a super sandwich. It's No, it's a hero sandwich. It's a super sandwich. That sounded better in my head. I said hero sandwich. That, that does qualify, sure. Su superhero witch? I don't know. <laughs> I've oh, lost okay. interest in this bit. Let's move on. <laughs> yep. Uh, so this week, we are talking about Common Rider Revice Episode 5. Zenkaiger episode 30, and for our feature topic, the long overdue second part of Project Thouser. Woo. AKA why Amatsu guy is responsible for fucking everything up. <laughs> Thank you, Gagi. Uh, Again, I'm eating dinner while doing this, so that might be why. Yeah, he's got food on the brain. So, want to go and talk about Revice? Yeah, bumper time. Hooray, I finally figured out why the bumpers have been quiet for the last few months. And I fixed it. So is this the part where I give my two cents on the last few episodes since I've been on? No, but apparently it's the part where you turn on your webcam. My webcam? Or no, oh, Wild Knight turned on his cam. Someone did. Yeah, there we go. Okay, say so they ain't me. I was going to say, someone's pulling a lane. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, the fucking volume mixer on my computer had fucking Stream Deck turned down, and that's why the bumpers have been quiet, so I fixed that while I was in the process of- I was wondering of why stuff was so quiet. Fixing my damn bumpers, uh, and also fixing my mic quality, that way when I have people in the studio again, the mic audio won't sound so ass like it has been for months. The short version is, I fixed a lot of audio things, and I'm happy about it. As an itchy do. As an itchy do. All right, so, so I guess, this week... Oh, can I go and get my thoughts on the past couple episodes since I haven't been on? Yes, please, go ahead. Um, I still don't care for the Deadman monster designs. I called this older... The friend having the Kong Vi stamp. Uh, it could have been the guy. It was too obvious. I mm. like the fact that Julio is being a very much an active member of Deadman's. Uh-huh. Um, phase two is interesting. 
didn't care for the monkey head fingers. Yeah, that was really weird. Um, until a certain form coming up later, I liked Terra. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daiji is kind of annoying me right now with how he's acting. Oh, yeah. But they're, they're clearly giving something to his character, and plus, George is clearly being ready to be a writer himself. Agreed. So, episode five. So, yeah, it turns out that Kurota did, in fact, get demoted, so now he's equal in rank to Daiji. He's pulling a new to me. Yeah. I like how they're standing there having this fucking conversation, and meanwhile, my brain is just going, TURN OFF THE FAUCETS! STOP WASTING WATER, YOU ASSHOLE! Protect the environment! Or I'll this fucking kill flight. you! We're on a flying ship, the water feels crazy up here! We have a limited amount of water in this flying helicarrier! Yeah. <laughs> uh. And then we see... Although I do find it fun... Sorry, what? Uh, sorry, go ahead. If it's related. I was about to say, it's funny that... Going a little bit ahead. He says he takes two, but it, it clearly shows he was only going to take a lion. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so we see either Kadota himself, possibly, but more likely someone who stole his ID card, uh, steal the Kong and Lion stamps from Phoenix and gives one to the, the kid Bon... And this is the episode where we find out that in this series... Bon, bon is, Bon's a moniker, his real name is Masao. Yeah. And, and we, we find out that apparently in this universe, YouTube exists, but it's called Bytube. I get it, it's a pun, because Vice. That was really, really fucking unnecessary. Sorry, what? Um, Just... Yeah, I love how they basically resorted to making the battles the complaints department. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Ginkai Genshin. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, although I do like $500 I like the bill to for, the, pro- for the banner. I, I do like how he's promoting the bathhouse for the sake of, oh, come take care of yourself, but also talk to my son. He'll save the day. Yeah, and, like, they sneak in and, like, tell us about the dead man sightings. I'm like, oh my god, are they trying to duplicate Mitan from uh, Build? Like, have my fans tell us about the fucking monster attacks. Except, and then it's just a bunch of people, oh, do my nails look good? Oh, what do I get with this girl I like? Yeah, because they're like, oh yeah, you can also tell us about your other problems. And then it just descends into a fucking cavalcade of fucking weird-ass randos with their stupid inane problems. To, to I, the point where I have to the trouble point getting exhausted. lost, even though I'm using a driving thing, even though I have a map. And Iki responds with, "Get a fucking new job." Yeah, he literally <laughs> says, "Try a map or a career change." <laughs> You're bad at your job. Leave it. Oh, and then as he's resting, the grandfather walks in. Clear. Yeah, I think this grandfather is like some established actor. Cause like I he, looked it up. He doesn't do much, so, but he seems to be pretty animated. I, I don't have the actor's name written, but the grandfather character, he is a comedian, a Rakugo performer, and a featured member of a long-running comedy show called Shoten. That makes sense. And there's a little touch with his outfit that he's wearing yellow. Apparently on that Shoten show, he wears a yellow kimono. Okay. That one, sh- that one shot later in the show where they like really zoom in on his face. I don't know if anyone else thought this, but my brain went Japanese Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> great! I can't see it now. Ah, great! My grandson summoned a kaijin. Ah, great! It's the Iago Dead Man. How funny would it have been if it was the parrot Dead Man? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, there is a parrot on that tree in the opening, so. Ah! A problem with your rider! <laughs> if he can't do it, great! Yeah. <laughs> Switch forms! Yeah. Um. So, yeah. They they go back we go back to Phoenix and they talk about how the stamps were stolen and now we have to deal with someone on this flying airship being a fucking imposter. And it, it's safe to assume that they they all know it's Kadota. 
Kadota's pretty sus, but they don't hide it well. Almost, they almost don't hide it so much that I think it might turn out to not be him. I know that's what makes me think he won't be a certain character up later. This, th- I can't call this show's writing good enough. I'm not sure if it's good enough yet. If that they'll, it'll turn out to not be him. Or if the show's writing is not good enough that it is him, and they're just like, yeah, the the audience knows, but the characters don't. I mean, I think it was one of the spoiler chats. I forgot who, but someone said there could be a theory that him and Daiji could be working together. Yeah, it is also possible that Daiji was doing it. Daiji has some weird moments in this episode, too, like when George sneaks up on him and he just pulls the fucking gun phone on him. So, plus, there was a weird theory involving who stole who because of, I guess, the actor who plays Daiji has moles on his hand, and I guess the actor had moles on his hand. I'm like, really? I didn't notice that, but if that's the case, then I guess there's our answer. Well, we'll know soon. I, my favorite bit in the whole episode is just George practicing snapping necks. <laughs> and he clearly was going to condone while doing so. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Hiromi, this is what I'm going to do to your fucking face. <laughs> Hey, Kadota, <laughs> want to have me practice neck cracking? Here, get, put your head down here for real quick. <laughs> Just, hey, hey, come here, employee to boss, friend to friend, and crack. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one suspect off the table. <laughs> and speaking of suspect, Masao walks through this build, this like business building or something like that. He mentions, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring smiles to this workplace. Because I was sent by a black company. Yeah, that's the thing. So apparently this is some sort of shady company who has engaged in unsavory practices. They don't really specify what the company is or what they've done. Just that they're a black company. So I got powers on the dark dark web and bring smiles. Yeah, that's legit. So he walks in with his fucking selfie stick phone and then summons the Lion Deadman to just blow the fucking place up. That'll bring smiles to everyone there. Which... Okay, Revice, you you win this one. I like the Lion Deadman. It is kind of cool. I won't. It's it's not even in my, nowhere, not even in the same ballpark as my favorite kaijins. But I hate this one the least so far. You are the pr- you are the prettiest polished herd in the bunch. <laughs> And it's so funny because, like, you look at it and you see, like, red and yellow and a little bit of green. And I'm just like, I'm getting O's ta-topa, vibes. Ta-topa, ta-topa. Right? I wonder if that was intentional. I mean, probably so. But if it was Lion, it would be a lot more yellow. Yeah. So, uh, I love that Lion sets up this super attack where it spawns a bunch of clones of itself. But then Rex just fucking, om dum dum nom I have eaten all of your children. Lion send kill, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Lion send killed. I, I made that joke before, but just come on. <laughs> my, my 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 enjoyment is largely patronizing. I will admit. Eh, <laughs> I'm not, enjoying it so far. It wasn't that good. <laughs> Although one of my favorite lines in the, and I think you know the one, one of your favorite about, lions. I meant line Freudian <laughs> slip. I know, but uh, you probably you did, but I just felt like making that joke. <laughs> Thank you. But my favorite line in this episode, and I think I know the one you I'm mean, talk about is he Icky t- tells him I became a common writer for a reason, <laughs> and just that shot, that weirdly dramatically shaded camera angle, like. I saw him like, okay, that's a good shot. <laughs> just like Graveheart from Shadow Raiders. I'm just a writer. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to get that reference. I got that reference, actually. Excellent. As a matter of fact, I did. As a matter of fact, I knew. Yeah. So. But I, I, I do like how Masao does get the sense knocked into him fast, so I feel like we're going to save the Phase 2s for for certain occasions. Yeah, because like the Phase 2s are the objectives that the dead mans are heading towards. 
They need Cause, three more. Because unlike last week, because unlike Iker last week, who was very bitter, he just looked like, oh, I just want to do this because I thought I might help people. He meant well. Exactly, he meant well. Yeah, uh, but yeah, like we we briefly see the, the earlier the scene where whoever stole the stamp hands the lion stamp to him, and it's safe to say he knows who it is. But then when they have this conversation crammed into the side room at the, at the bathhouse, fucking Masao's yeah. like, oh, it was so sudden. I didn't get a good look, you fucking liar. Cause it's clearly because Kadota, it's possibly him. He was in the room with them. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of that part, George walks in, Daiji turns around, point blank, points at the Gundy phone in his face. Oh, yeah. And he's not flinching. Oh, George is a badass. He knows that he can't get touched. He even, even said, calm down. You're too tense. I'm making a joke. It's a fucking joke, bro. <laughs> I'm like, damn, George, your best character. George's best character. Like, it's not even close. Best character and soon to be best writer. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. Oh, speaking of George, I like when they get the lion stamp back. He's like, oh, my precious little my lion precious stamp. My precious little stampy wampy. Did, He's like, it's a kitten. Did you miss your Which daddy? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then immediately processes it with a rider from his fucking tanks in the back and hands it back to Iggy. <laughs> yep. I'm like, oh, George. You are great. Mm-hmm. And so their plan to lure out the traitor is to have Masao do a fucking apology video. <laughs> and I'm gonna smash this evil stamp because I'm oh, so yeah! the other good the other best shot, just George in the bath, and then his fucking rubber chicken rises up. Like in my notes, I literally say George and his bathing chicken. He has an erection for justice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Although I do like how when he gives him the, the proper lion stamp, he gives the kook a thumbs up. Yeah, he just like thumbs his way out of the scene like a goddamn like, badass. Here you go, kid. Thumbs up. <laughs> Karizaki, out! <Peace. laughs> that was so good. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to get this out of the way because we're. At, I love how Olteca and Julio show up. They take the stamp and at the bottom, yeah, no, it was a fake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, get, it's official. We know what they are. Yeah, we also officially know what, what they are. Olteca yes. is the giant squid dead man. Dioka. And Ryu is the wolf. Yeah. It's, which, I want those stamps. Those are cool. I, I feel like they might have talked about what, uh, what dead mans they are when the show was first announced. But uh, I don't remember. I originally thought, well, well to be fair, I originally thought like it was going to be like a bear or like a beetle with how his hat looked. I had no idea what they were until we knew this. But when I, uh, whenever blurry shots came up, uh, people thought Olteca was holding the Bata stamp. It is a similar color. It's that same shade of green. Yeah, but I, I knew that no, probably wasn't going to be it. Uh, no, no, giant squid and wolf. Yep. So now I'm wondering what Christina Aguilera's stamp is. If she has one. Oh, she probably does. She, if she if she is the same as the other two, then they, they definitely have she definitely has one. If anything, she'll wait for her precious Geef Sama to show up to reveal her monster form. Just just like her monster form, she thinks of it as like her revealing herself, like like being naked, so it's like only Gifu Sama gets to see my natural form. It's her it's her true self. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Bone attempts to quote unquote shatter the fake vice stamp, and that lures in Olteca and Julio. And, and then, as they're setting up, Karota turns around and points his gun at his men. So that's the show trying to make us think that Karota is the traitor. But I've, I'm on the fence on whether this is going to actually say, be the case. I want to say it so badly. What? I th going way to going ahead to, to the end here. I think Kadota, or supposedly Kadota is come around evil. That feels like the bait that they're putting towards us. I'm not that's 100 percent sure. Want, that's why I feel so suspicious. I'm like, no, this is too easy. Right? I want to like, give this, this show credit, but I'm not 100 percent sure. 
it's like they make it obvious oh is it daiji is it kadota could it be both who knows i'm still holding on to my theory that daiji is going to be the beta tester for that third belt agreed he'll be the true secondary Hmm. Um, yeah, so I actually listened to a clip of the new Kamen Rider's henshin from Ganba Rising, and apparently oh, it is pronounced evil, as in the word devil without the D, which makes kind okay. of, which makes sense. So it, uh, is, yeah, okay. it is, in fact, Kamen Rider evil. No, Wild Knight, it's not actually Christina Aguilera, but it is Aguilera, and that's why I'm making that's the joke. That's the joke. Yeah. I mean, there's a joke about uh, Kenny or Tolteca. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the new Kamen Rider is Kamen Rider Evil. Okay. Suspiciously close although, to Evolve, but we'll roll with it. Although I, although watching that Gom Rising video, I kept on listening to like, the sounds. I do like the sounds. The sounds are cool. I'm looking Kamen forward to seeing the full head. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Evil shows up literally out of nowhere and just backshots them and just knocks vice to the fucking roof I, I would watch a loop over that just vice getting pimp slapped yep i love it oh speaking of speaking of that can we talk can we just do a remix real quick in okay, Google form? okay. No, almost all of the remixes so far have been really fucking stupid but Agreed. i must confess the lion one is the least stupid one Agreed. Although it's funny, when Vice try to make the lion, it becomes a freaking money lucky, cat. A lucky cat, yeah. I'm like, really? And yeah, also, I guess we should talk about just lion genome in general, the Kuga form. Which, I don't hate it. It's alright. I still Pretty think spiky. it should have actual Kuga's colors, but, yeah. It's a rider form. What do you do? Vice looks better. The but just... The, the arrangement to make Lion Remix is re less horny than other forms. Which is saying something. That's an achievement. <laughs> so far, so far. Yeah, I'm sure it'll get much and worse. The fact that as they're fighting as the Lion, you hear Vice just going, meow. Oh, yeah. Just as they're fighting. He still wants like, to be the course. cat. He wants to be the pretty kitty. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to be a cat. Like we get advice, you want to be someone's pet. Yeah, I mean he's basically already a pet. Again, I said it before. I said last time I was on, he's whipped. Yeah, last week he was like, "Don't I get some love? I want love." <laughs> and thus begins the fanfics. Oh God! I know. I just shivered too. Yeah. So the episode ends with uh, George and the Phoenix soldiers getting downed by what Every, we're everyone knocked out. We're assuming this Masao is Kadota, but who out. the fuck knows? Yeah, people are saying Kadota is there, but it's hard to tell. Yeah, I'd have to really pay attention. They to... clearly show Daiji and George. Yeah, and and this episode ends on this kind of cliffhanger, and then the fucking episode preview is like, here's a brand new story about a lawyer, and I'm like, but. But what about this? Pardon? Excuse me? Are um, we starting a new story so soon? Tonal shift what? <laughs> but but evil Batman came in, smacked the dino boy away, and now we're talking about lawyers? And like there was zero clips of Evil in the preview. I'm like, does he just fuck off and we have to wait another week? Which is sad because I don't want that to happen. I want to see e Evil now. Right? <laughs> Because one, I want to know who he is, and two, I want his belt so badly. Yeah. I like that uh, some people in the Discord have been saying that he feels kind of like a Saber Rider because he, he transforms because the, the exact belt. same way by pulling a people, sword out of his I, belt. <laughs> I suppose see he was a reject design from Saber. Eh, I don't know. Oh, to be fair, a lot of stuff from Saber came up this week. Yeah. Well, original ideas, anyway. I, all, all I gotta say so far is I really, I actually really like the Evil suit much, much more than Revice. Oh yeah, the, the design is. Scheme. People were people were going on about how the design has the aesthetics of an upside down bat. Oh, it does. I like it. Like the color, I like the colors. I like they almost like splatter paint work on it. The almost like straight punk look. I really like that. Common Rider Splatoon. 
Also, here's the thing. You notice how there's a zipper on the chest? Yes. And he has the high collar. Uh huh. What if there's a form change where that unzips and then a cape flows out? Oh, I like that. Like, you're a vampire. I like it. Like he goes from like here's like here's a bat, and now he's a vampire bat. Then he'll switch from Kamen Rider Evil to Kamen Rider Live. I mean, yeah, we haven't. Yeah, and that's the thing. We don't know if he's human or demon. Yeah, we don't know which is which yet. I mean, who knows? It could actually be a two a reverse of Revi where he can swap bodies. I think the theory we're going on, we're going with so far, is that it is a human with a devil in him that doesn't come out per se. But depending on whether he transforms into Evil or Live, is one of them is in control or the other? Because like the okay, Evil clearly shows their just faces using back the demon's to back. Power for the sake of transforming. Yeah, like the humans in control of one mode and the demons in control of the other mode. And that sounds about right. Yeah. All right. But lawyers well, next week. Yay. Interesting. The show is getting interesting. That's all the credit I'll give it. Change Zenkai? I will forgive this week's episode for having the stupidest fucking monster of the week of all time again because Hakaiser is goddamn badass. Yeah. Do you want to know why it's a persimmon monster? Dried persimmon monster. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I wonder why it's persimmon, regardless. Why? It's Japan's national fruit. Oh. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh. It took the 45th anniversary to give us a national Japan fruit monster. It's still dumb. But more importantly, a Kaiser. A Kaiser is awesome and quirky and funny. Like I love him. He's such a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> and I will protect all my fellow my fellow worlds. So I'm pretty sure we can all just safely say that that's just Kaito's dad in there, right? Yep. Either physically in the suit or mentally controlling it. Yeah. He's either been brainwashed or his data got reused or because so because because going a little ahead, we learned that apparently this like all this stuff that the Kaiser, the cannon, and the gears and everything were stolen. Yeah, Hakaiser is apparently a prototype of Zinkaiser, which I kind of like. And, of course, his weapon would be the Zenryoku Cannon. Yes, a, a gun with all of the Sentais in it. And is it just me, or does the barrel look like a freaking touchpad? That's what I was saying when we talked about it in Extra previous week. It looks like a goddamn cell phone gun with a spaceship sticking out of it. But, oh, and uh, you, you didn't mention it last week, but the last week and this week, uh, we have more glitching effects in the opening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's happening so much, I'm stop starting to lo notice them less. It, it didn't do it for the manga episode, but the week I was on and then last week and this week, or vice versa, they all had like a glitching effect. Yeah. Maybe so the show is just finally something. buckling under its own weight. <laughs> so I Ijirude builds Hakaiser as a machine soldier to protect the monsters of the week, which is an interesting idea. And they even go out of their way to say, oh, he has more output than Stacy's there. So now Stacy's going to have him a fucking complex about it. This may be a turning point where Stacy's going to contemplate actually working with Zenkaijers. Yes, this could be the point where Stacy does start to finally go good for reals. And. So, can we talk about how the person monster's stupid power is to make you thirsty? <laughs> because it is, as we learn, he peeled up his cheeks. Psych, I'm dried, Parsimon. You're all gonna dry and become mummies. What a subtle yet crucial difference! I love that line. <laughs> Thank you, Rune. Yeah, that was good. And then they have their fucking dried out roll call. <laughs> well, they did the roll call, but at the end they dry like, Zenkai, oh my god, I'm so thirsty. Yep. This is officially the thirstiest Which, episode of this child-friendly television show. And yet not as thirsty as Canelo. Yeah. <laughs> Although it, 
it was pretty upsetting to see everyone trying to fight for water. That was pretty disturbing. Mm-hmm. We're seeing Yatsude almost being dried. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, it was not pleasant. Um, but yeah, so Zox just fucking shows up with water. <laughs> like, here comes Flint, Rikin Katana, and a ta- like, table, cups, water, here you go, rehydration station. Where the fuck did you swipe that from? To the point where they legit tag out to drink, tag back in. That's kind of brilliant, actually. I'm like, <laughs> gold tweaker family for the save. Yeah. And this fight and in the earlier fight, we see them, we see Hakaizer use the the cannon, or as he refers to it, the Zenryoku Hakaiju. Uh, and he uses... The first time the, he uses the Chanbara power, and we see Ninja Yellow, Hurricane Yellow, Shinken Yellow, and Keninja. Because swords. Yeah. And then the second time, then it's we see science him. power. Yeah, science power. And we see Denji Blue, Dyna Blue, Blue 3, and Time Blue. Which they do their attacks. Yeah. Um, and then we get this very, very interesting fight between Zenkaiser and Hakaiser where they clash and jump at each other. And and then uh, Zenkaiser he manages to... out to think he grabbed the gun. Yeah, he manages to steal the gun. And and then speaking just, of Zenkaiser, they dirtied that suit up in that fight. Oh, yeah, he got fucked up. Plus, if you look at the chest, you can see there's creases in the shoulders. Yeah, we're in episode 30, so, and the suit is already starting to show some wear yeah, and tear. They, they, are, they are wearing that white suit down. They're going full force on that suit. Literally. Thank you! Full force, full force dry cleaning. Yeah. Um. So, Zenkaiser gets the gun, just starts spinning the fuck out of it, and activates the, the finale buster. All, all the logos of every Sendai appears around him in a circle. And then he fires all of the heads. <laughs> Super headbutt of justice. Uh, and then Hakaiser is going to keep fighting, but then we realize he's also part Ultraman because his color timer starts going off. I have to go home and recharge. Oh, no, no, Itchy, you may appreciate my line for this one. Hakaiser, you must come back to get your recharge of evil energy. <laughs> Please tell me you got what I reference. Yes, Rita Repulsa and the evil Green Ranger. No, it was a quote of Vexer from Edelborgs. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, now I got it. Yes, thank you. He's trying to get more evil energy. Yes. The energy access. No, he's in his own little energy tube, apparently. Yeah. Uh, and then they fight the, the dried persimmon die world who proceeds to fight Which, with the power of homophones. Literally every single homophone for Kaki. Yeah, because Kaki means we get persimmon, oyster, flower pot, and flower pots. Fire. Yeah, flower pots, fire, oysters. You know the monster's powers are fucking stupid when they have to really reach and use the power of homophones to give it a power uh, set. Although, again... Points for Vroon for being like, well, we are fighting, but I do appreciate a good pun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and his dying words are, parsimons are good on salad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so the episode ends um, with you really finding some new info that I'm sure will come into play next week. And uh, next week's episode is about cleaning. And also we'll get to see uh, the Zenryoku Eagle and Zenryoku Zenkaio. Oh my god, this is, this is the... I knew this was going to happen where they're all going to be a limb, but not like this. Why? What's the problem? Just It's a CGI cluster and I don't like it. Welcome to Ultra Zords. I, I like most Ultra Zords. This I just don't like. I mean, I don't like any of the sorts. I mean, Vroom and Gina's Honestly, right. the toy looks... Honestly, yeah, watch, watching reviews of the canon, the toy looks worse. Probably. At least I think so, anyway. I just think this, it's hilarious that we have this Megazord with a fucking gun trigger sticking out of its back. It ain't the first. Yeah, it's, it's no Pat Kaiser. <laughs> oh, I missed the looping gunner already. Yeah. All right. The uh, zero one time. 
Perfect Rise. The worst part of this was they made me remember Ansatsu Chan. Ansatsu! Ansatsu! Okay, I'm gonna go BS on this. The first line, Zowser is the ultimate rider system. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think uh, it's ultimate so, rider system and left testicle. It's so funny that all of this shit, literally everything that happened in the first half of the show, is because guy's a petty douche. Is for the sake of guy having what? his own goddamn rider belt, and then Thouser turned out to just suck ass. And now we apparently, and apparently he had needed to get permission to put Naki in Fua's chip. Yeah. I mean, or, they, said, they established said, over the course of this special that the reason they did what they did was they wanted to revive Metsubo Jinrai and lure out the Ark so that it would put itself into a tangible body so they'd have something to point a gun at. So that way, although I, I like, yeah, we get uh, Williamson. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, Yotagaki Williamson. And, and I love apparently it. he wanted to be... And apparently, I was surprised, he actually wanted to keep the Zaya legit company. Yeah, he has he has genuinely good slash wholesome slash non-harmful objectives. He, like wants, he just wants to run a business as it should, not be an evil dictator about it. Yeah. I love that he oh, comes in with the thousand driver and then promptly goes, it, no, you don't get your toys. Like, hey, you see this? You've been a yeah, bad it, boy. You're not getting your new toy. If only Thouser stayed frozen. Yeah. Although, it would have been a funny little touch. This wouldn't have happened. But I wish that we would see a prototype of the Thouser suit with the blue eyes. Yeah, that would have been a nice touch. But I was just happy that this had a lot of Fua, Enua, Naki, and Williamson. Yes. Well, especially because Fua was the puppet until Naki got her physical, their physical body back. Yeah. Um, and we actually, we actually find out a, a bit more about how and why Jin was rebuilt after being destroyed. It was because Naki, Naki wanted that to happen. Naki who told Yodagaki to do it because Bound she wanted. His, yeah. Hey, not so long after he was destroyed the first time, yeah. they, she got his memory stick here. Rebuild Jin, please. Yeah. I'd like that. It was actually completely unrelated to project Soar that just happened to also be a thing on the side. It, it just, it was a coincidence. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, we get some, some between Someone moments take, between take things that happen. Was it done washing or was it done drying? What? It was done drying. Um, so yeah, they we get to see some between scenes of uh, Project Thouser and reviving Ikazuchi, and uh, we Yodagaki talks to Naki about how she's pretending to obey Guy just for the sake of completing the Thousand Drivers, so they have another weapon against the Ark. Flashbacks to them being shot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it actually it actually does successfully provide some needed explanation and motivation be behind a lot of events of the show. So I, th I feel like it answers some lingering questions, which I'm okay with. Even though it made me look at guy's ugly fucking face again, I was okay to watch this. Uh, I don't know why. I thought his actor looked fatter because his face looked rounder. <laughs> I don't know why. He's let I thought his face looked rounder. He's let himself go since the series ended. He's a thousand percent fatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, now I'm just imagining him as fucking Tugami from Danganronpa 2. Get in my driver! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know if anyone's played Danganronpa 2 who will get that joke, but... for the No, he, he was the proper fat bastard. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm bigger than you, I'm higher on the rider chain. I hope my rider fighting team is ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh god, you asshole. So yeah, that is Project Thouser Part 2. Oh, just here and here's a weird little thing. We get like we get to end credits, we see like 
Oh, like the sunset? I'm like, huh, because Burning Falcon. Yep. And they, they start talking about the human li- or the human gear liberation plan, which is, I guess, what Jin focused on when he came back. Which, yep. So, yeah, that was that. That was interesting. Very nice background piece. And that is the fact that it, Sorry, go ahead. That was that was a pretty good episode, honestly. That yeah, was all right. I feel like I would have enjoyed so, it more if I watched it so while the show was airing. But uh, yeah, so that is Cast Ranger. I know it's a bit of a short one, but that's because all the other main members were occupied. Apologies for the background noise. Sorry, that was my brother. Yeah. He all right. out. Uh, I don't feel like it. Um, Kai Radio Sentai Cast Ranger? Yeah. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to be talking about the second episode of the Yodana special. Woo, I won't be there for that. That's all right. This is only for the, this is only for good little boys and girls. <laughs> and by that, I mean uh, not that I, at all. I, I'm the special occasion caster. Special little caster? I'm special of caster, yes. <laughs> special caster. <laughs> I, I, I'm a reserve caster. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this episode. And, no problem. Uh, I'm glad to give you someone to talk to and not go crazy. Yeah, just so I'm not talking at myself into the void. Stares off into space. Stares off into the cosmos. Yeah. St- stares riderly. Oh. Uh, stares in the distance while holding a belt. Yeah. I do have my sword driver right over here. I currently have no driver on me. Yet. Well, you can fix that by going to itcamefromjapan.com. I might. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, thank you to everyone who listens, watches, likes, favorites, subscribes, shares, hitting the bell, being awesome. I mixed up tenses, but fuck it. Uh, as anyone things. who listened to Extra this week knows, we are we have stopped editing Extra. So next week, yeah, re- rest in peace, Extra, Extra. Yep, so next week we'll start including a little bit where we talk about news stories that are the most significant, uh, if any, come up. But uh, aside from that, it will be regular business as usual going forward, and hopefully we have some more people on next week. But uh, that's not something I have any control over. Well, hopefully someone will be there with you soon enough. That's not over Discord. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Well, as usual, the primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. From there, you can find our Facebook page, our Twitter account, our Discord server, where you can not only chat with all these cool people here and listen to the live show, but as of this weekend, that this episode airs, we'll be adding the news column as a separate channel that people can talk in. Uh, and of course there's also our merch store and our Patreon where you can help us make the show better for you. And if you come to the Discord, we can talk to cool people like me and other the regulars. Yeah. All right. Thank you again. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.